Hello, my name is Shadley, and welcome back for another episode of uh, beginner-friendly Germany, as uh, well, well, as Germany, surprisingly, uh, in uh, Hoi 3. And uh, in previous episode, we managed to annex Austria, and we got Japan into access now, which is quite nice indeed. So we got three cores over there. We got the mountaineers in here, which was definitely moving closer. Um, just move this one in there as well. We are going to have to get another division there. And also, we're going to have to get another bit of um, Mountaineer Division that is kind of not a full division. Uh, so the previous one got Artillery, I think. We'll put AT on that one. And there we go, another division just completed. Um, I suppose we definitely want to start building up more troops on the Polish border here. On the other hand, yeah, let's just put it in Stettin, actually. We're going to have to get another set of 15, at least 15 units sooner or later, but we're not in a hurry. We've got some engineers down, actually. So where can we put those? There's not too many, I suppose. Well, there's actually a bit more now that we've got that. Um, nice setting, and I believe there was another one that I was supposed to get a unit for. I'm not entirely sure if that was the one. Maybe it was, actually. Yeah, it might have been. Okay. No, I'm not going to build the ones still the Austrian divisions. It's just, um... They're going to be in the southern front, most likely, anyway. Which is not the most important. Although, one thing that I should do now is... Can I actually... Two Warfenesses and, let's say, Engineer, because the other Warfenesses already has a Tank Destroyer, so I kind of want to differentiate them. Although, actually, if I do it with the these, I suppose it could be a Reserve Unit, Parallel, and then get a Engineer in there. So that's going to allow us to not use the names up, which can sometimes be a bit frustrating late game. There we go, so we got air guns almost on the entire border now, and looks like the officer ratio has dropped a little bit. So I'm running anti armament, okay, so we can cancel that one. I think we may want to increase the officer ratio now to 5 uh, leadership, just to speed up the recruitment, and we can keep the um, bonus from that a little bit higher. Of course, we have been building a lot of troops lately, so that would explain the maturity of it. Right, uh, setting, setting, setting. That's the entire core. Can we transport it at once? We can. Good. And then over here we can take the first core, transfer you to Angerberg, and then let's see, you are going to drop there. Uh, well, I suppose we'll start by just transporting there. Then every time that we stop somewhere we'll just drop one more. Over there, well, there's going to be two in here, I reckon. Oh, we've got two AA guns, don't we? Okay. Well, we'll put in the armored car in there, and then the engineer can be over here. So we've got a full border in East Prussia as well. That's going to take away some of their stuff away. Oh, and we've got more factories. Excellent. Königsberg and... Vienna is already full. Okay, so we can't really build there. I suppose Leipzig. Submarine engine is ahead of time now. Oh, right, and once we get those upgrades, we should definitely get the... get some uh, new submarines to be building. Because we are going to need some of those, of course. We need to be a bit careful, especially in the early war, with the submarines. We can't really use too much of them. And more air guns. So there we go, we got the entire border over there set up. We'll get some guns down here, and then we'll get guns over the industrial area. Quite a bit, I reckon. For example, there already. Because there is going to be plenty of bombardment on those, and I believe those are the... Well, at least Dortmund is... Well, it's six factories. Dusseldorf is ten. But that's certainly something that we want to protect as much as possible. 
Now, of course, the AI will try to select targets that have as little AA as possible. So that is kind of a way that you can force the AI to choose targets that are not defended. And then you can have your fighters in there intercepting them, basically. It's already September, I believe. Oh, right. It's, uh, is it in October or something when we can do the... The Treaty of Munich already. Or is that going to be... That might actually be in 1938. Submarine Hall advance. Okay. So that's already out of time. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of things in here. I'm actually going to put the infantry upgrades already into the queue. And then, I suppose, well, the Desert Warfare maybe. We'll put in the light tank stuff there as well. And then the artillery stuff. And armored cars. Because I know that by the time we reach those decks, so it's already going to be 38. But it just means that we don't need to put them in there at that point. Then agriculture and education are going to be quite good. Industrial production and efficiency are going to be really important. Decryption machine, supply production, oil refining, definitely a good one. Uh, we're going to get the multiple of fighter. And then there's going to be some text over here, for example, the mobile warfare. I'm already going to unlock this one, but we won't be able to reach it, or we don't want to reach that quite yet. Let's create certainly something that we want to get. Speaking of which, I suppose we can wait until we get the tank, no, the medium tank stuff is already in there. Okay, so what about we build a year 31 tank, we'll put in motorized AA there. Just for the reason of, uh, there's going to be plenty of tank, oh, Shanxi has been annexed, okay, that's quite nice. We've got ourselves another engineer in here. Now, do we have more room in Grunberg? We do. Just going to assign that there. Move it maybe over there. We're going to have to get another core of infantry over here, probably. I mean, we don't necessarily have to have it, but it will speed up things. So that's kind of the reason why I'd like to get another one there. Right, let's get some air guns around here. In various places. We've still got plenty underway. Yeah, we've still got six... Oh, hold on. Eighteen still underway. Uh, that's going to give us a pretty decent protection. Of course, the like static AA is not that great necessarily, but it will help. Um, hmm. Some more down here along the coast. Aha, uh -huh. and now we can combine this with the brigade. Um, right, so it is that one. So we've got a full mountaineer division here. Uh, let's actually have a look at the simplified terrain. So there's going to be a little bit of mountains there. Once we reach like the southern Yugoslavia, there's going to be a bit more mountains up there. So we do want to have some mountaineers for that reason. Getting some air stuff uh, completed. Nuclear physics advance. Uh, right, so we've got another division here. Is Breslau already full? No. Okay, so we'll put one there. I'll probably put it down here because we do need to expand the front here at some point. And it looks like we are actually a bit too low on consumer goods. Luckily, that is easy to fix. Uh, the upgrade has dropped down quite a bit. Oh, and we are not that far away from getting the rocket test site. That's nice. So more air guns. Save it in the starter. Over here, we'll probably want to sell, set up some more AA guns into Dresden and places like that as well. Oh, and we're getting the Marine Corps. Start building up here. Um, do, 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 do. Hold that first Marine Corps. I'm just going to assign it under OB West right now. Eventually we'll have another army under which it is going to be primarily, but right now I think that's going to be good enough. Do get... No, nope, we didn't actually unlock any new divisions yet. Or not unlock, uh, build any new division. Oh, losing a lot of income right now because uh, supply deficit or something. Well, we know where to put the Marines. We'll put in... A little bit AA in Dresden. And then increase the consumer goods again. 
At least we are gaining all, all the resources. Also, that reminds me, we're getting a lot of Diplo points right now. Um, how about Romania? I'll start influencing you. And I'm assuming Hungary is really close to becoming or joining the Axis already in terms of the location anyway. Yep. So I'm going to stop influencing you. And how about we influence someone else? Now the question is, who should we influence? We are going to annex Yugoslavia, or conquer it anyway. So that's not a, an option. Romania is certainly one. I suppose we could start influencing Finland. That's something that we do want to bring into the Axis. Then more Marines. So the Marine Corps is certainly building up rather quickly now. And looks like production... Well, well there's still a decent bit in there, but at some point we're going to have to put in probably another set of infantry. Well, actually, it's a lot sooner than I thought. So this core is full, yep. They're regaining their organization with decent speed. Rocket test site is going to be done. There we go. Put that in Wolgast. And let's see, we got a bit of extra production now, so I suppose. Uh, how close are we getting the. No, the small arms upgrades are still pretty far away, okay. What I could, of course, do is get another light tank division. Put some engineers in there, for example, for faster crossing rivers. You know, get a little bit more tanks and that sort of stuff in here. Because we are going to have to, once we get the upgrades for the infantry, we're going to start putting in another set of 15 or 20 divisions there. For some extra, you know, protection and that stuff, that sort of stuff. Okay, AA in Bremen. Dusseldorf, I'm going to increase that to level 2 at least. How is the tax? Oh wow, the practical for artillery is now 15.5. That's pretty good. And we got 12.3 construction practical. Oh right, we probably built all the yeah, we built all the air bases that we were constructing. Well, I mean that's fine. Oh, and China already decided to give up. Oh right, now we're gonna get the Treaty of Munich. Well, right. well, that's gonna give us a lot of descent, also a lot of manpower, which is quite nice. Right, so we're gonna increase the Consumer goods back to 150, so we're going to get rid of that rather soon, I believe. Oh, spotting advance, good. Cruiser crew training. So a bit extra in reinforcements, but no, it's the upgrades that I still need to be going overboard a little bit there. So we get through the descent and then we're going to deal with the production again. Is there... right, so Munich does have... Some Frankfurt does have some anti air guns. I think I would have put in some guns over here as well. So once we take in the Netherlands, they will try to bomb that constantly through Valley. I mean, it makes sense. We can actually lower this already down to like 0.5. So we'll get a bit more production done sooner. And now we can actually reduce that back to like 62 and a half or something like that. But we also got a decent bit of extra in upgrades. Right, so we are probably still pretty far away from getting the... Oh, right, uh, naval tech, we got the... Cruiser crew training, and that's ahead of time. Spotting is ahead of time. Basing is something that we're going to probably get soon enough. And more upgrades. So how close is Hungary joining into Axis now? The neutrality is still too high. Um, so there, yeah, there's a few things that need to happen before we can get them in. But eventually they will join. Destroy crew training, okay. So that's probably out of time now. Yep. We can cancel those two. Economic boost, ooh, 5% extra. And it looks like we're selling a lot of supplies. I'm gonna increase the supply production to 40 IC. Because we've also increased the amount of army that's, that we have, so we are going to have to get a bit more. Uh, looks like upgrade is available again. Is there? Right, so we are building both tank divisions. I suppose I could get another... Hold on. So we've got the motorized division there, which actually is going to require another motorized brigade, isn't it? Put that in, and then we could get... Another motorized division, I think. With armored car, for example. For the second Panzer Corps. We should probably name that already, that.
and eventually that's gonna actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the counters show unit names it's a bit easier to see which one is which like the commander isn't really that important right now like there are points where looking through the commander is gonna be required right now I don't think it's that time Sounds like more upgrades have been done. Although it's a matter of time before we need to get a lot more up. Oh, basing completed. Now we can cancel that one. But yeah, I believe in March we can already annex Czechoslovakia, if I'm not mistaken. Or something like that. And here are guns down there. So how many are we still getting the guns? Uh, another seven. Wait, no. That's six, eight. Okay. And in May we're going to get another set of factories, which is quite nice. And, okay. Upgrade is down. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm basically completely upgrades for the time being now. That's not too bad. And we've got one of the naval bombers now. What's that? Getting those in Hamburg. Sign that under Obi West. And uh, we'll have a total of four. So these are going to be really good, especially sinking enemy convoys. Once we take in France, we can have them in a place where they can't send their fighters to intercept us. And that's going to help a long way. Right. Uh, a little bit less of that. So supplies, we are now at least gaining. We are only 30,000 though. I mean, max is 99.999 thousand, so, like, it's not that big of a difference. Well, I mean, okay, it's three times the difference, but still. We got a decent enough, so that I don't think we'll be running out. And especially once the war starts, we're going to have to cancel a lot of trades anyway. Which means that we'll probably be losing a lot of steel. Hopefully we'll have a large enough uh, buffer to get through us. Or through there. Oh, medium tank gun upgraded. Excellent. I'm going to get the Heavy Tank Brigade up and running soon. Lay Doctrine, Advanced Large Front, Central Planning, and more AA guns, and another bomber. Right, so, hold on a minute. We got the land stuff now. Uh, did we get to... Large Front? Um, honestly, I don't think we need to have that one right now. Well, it can be alright, I don't think that's really the priority for us now. Infantry Warfare, on the other hand, should definitely be a priority. I need the credit support. Elastic Defense. Operational level command structure. Okay, so there's a lot of things underway. For sure. Oh, we've actually got a lot more in Diplomacy again. We can probably lower that quite a bit now. We've got at least 20 research going full speed and one at a reduced speed. Okay, more industry. So, Stettin, uh, Leipzig, Breslau, and Königsberg. More militia arms, advance. Oh, did I? Oh, I left that one researching by accident. Okay, we can get Desert Warfare into the queue. Small arms, advance. Excellent. So soon we're going to have these completed, and oh, right, the engineer, where was I going to put this? This is probably going to go for the SS division. I would assume, anyway. Okay, so that is coming along quite nicely now, and there we go. That division is completed. And this one, right, so it's currently two motorized divisions, basically. It's going to be two tanks, or one medium, one light, and three motorized divisions for the time being. The future ones are probably going to be a bit heavier, but that's fine. Are we... Oh, what did we complete? Oh, right, another transport plane. That reduced the cost <laughs> tremendously. Okay, well, I think Rostock is going to be a good enough place. Start gathering up stuff there. And... Oh, yeah, that reduced the cost quite a bit. I mean, we didn't really build heavy ships, or ships, uh, heavy planes before, so that's kind of the reason there. Um, I suppose 
Have we got on the... No, we haven't got on all the infantry resources yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some close air support planes then. We're going to need those anyway, so might as well build them now then. While waiting for the rest of the things to be appearing. So over here, uh, it is going to be that one and this one combined. There we go. And did we get something else? Oh right, we got another transport plane. Probably reducing the cost even further. Oh yeah, so basically we can build those immediately with full speed. I mean, I'm not that I'm complaining. Oh wow, that reduce it even further. Oh wow. Right, that's insane drop in the price there. Or the cost, rather. Sweden is lining towards the axis. It tends to do that from time to time. Right, I think Stuttgart, we're going to upgrade, like, basically the areas where we're going to have a lot of planes in. We're going to upgrade the AA guns there as well. Now we've got some extra in production once more. Um, hmm. I'm going to get some submarines. It's going to take a long while, but, like, we'll get them at some point anyway. Oh, but we're going to have to increase the uh, upgrades once more. We'll put in like 5 IC in there. We don't need to have a massive impact in there. As long as it just gets done before the war, that's going to be fine. Medium tank engine. Right, so that is in armor, of course. So we haven't actually been able to annex uh, Czechoslovakia. I think it's uh, in October then. That might be it. See, medium tank reliability. Get that one. And then battlecruiser, main armament. Alright, oh, we did actually go forward with that one. I might get the heavy cruiser upgrade as well. And then the light cruiser and destroyer ones. I'm going to do a lot of research, but we can do quite a bit anyway. Naval underway replenishment, infantry support weapons, so we're going to cancel both of those. Uh, oh, right, we actually got these already. We can cancel those. And then the infantry stuff. Just need to get these two, which are not going to take all that long, I don't think. But I don't see them listed in... Okay, that's in August for both of those. So another month before we can put in the infantry into the production queue. But we can now cancel the medium tank, and we can put in the heavy tank into queue, and we're going to put that to the top of the list, so that we can unlock it as quickly as possible. So let's have a look. Now it's P3. And uh, it's all P2 F as the light armor, but at least medium armor is now P3. A bit more recognizable name. At least for myself. Oh. Spotting increase by one. Oh, is that. That's all naval stuff, right? Wait, no, that's. Gotta be some other spotting then. I don't know what that is. Okay, Special Forces Advance, uh, so that would be in here. Yeah, that's ahead of time, definitely. How did we get now? Commander Decision Making, oh, that's in Naval. We can probably cancel that one now. For the time being, anyway. Just so that we can get a bit more of the other research done. Salt Concentration, that's uh, gotta be in Land, and is that ahead of time? Oh yeah, it is. Like artillery advance, okay, so that means that the other one is almost completed as well. And then we're going to put in the infantry, there we go. Cancel that, we're going to actually put in the airborne into the research queue already, I think. And now that we've got those upgrades, I'm going to put in probably 20 divisions actually. So we'll put in 4 serial, we could technically reduce the cost by putting them as reserves. Of course that means that we do need to reinforce them then, but we can build more divisions that way. So yeah, we'll build them as reserves, so we'll build 4 AT, 4 artillery, 4 engineers. These are going to take a long while to be built, but that's hardly an issue. There we go, so that took a lot of manpower. I mean, it should have taken about 200 and something, I reckon. Okay, so it's already August, I think. Oh, light tank and advances. 
So we're gonna get a new tank design for the light tank soon enough. Motorized brigade. Oh, right, this is the brigade for the left division. And. Do, 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 do. There's something I was looking for. All oh, right, we, we should probably increase the upgrades now to 10 IC or something to speed things up a little bit because we are not that far away from uh, the war, quite frankly. And we're going to need a lot more infantry for the like. Uh, technically, we have the entire front covered right now, not forever. Actually, we can probably move one of these already down there. We got ourselves uh, two tank divisions, the so Panzer Corps. Actually, that reminds me, the second Panzer Corps should definitely move on this side. I'll uh, send it to Trebnitz, and this one can be made into first Panzer Army, and we'll move the Panzer Army down to Crossing or something like that. And then uh, pilot training. Okay, uh, this one can be assigned to the first Panzer Army as well, actually. Right, so uh, air stuff uh, we need to figure out. Okay, so that's ahead of time, definitely. We need to start putting in the fighter pilot stuff and that sort of stuff because these are actually 38 techs and we've been neglecting them a little bit. And we are going to feel that in our bones or at least in our planes later on if we neglect that too much. Right, so the extra production. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, it's getting the... okay, they're almost completed. And we did get the tanks completed as well. We got the motorized division almost completed. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some... Uh, let's see, I suppose if we were to place 100 escorts... And 150 convoys. That's going to go quite far away in this. Oh right, it was the transport that got completed. Okay, anti-tank barrel sites advance and we can now annex Czechoslovakia. Which is going to be quite nice. Hold on a minute, it's in here, isn't it? Yep. So, first Vienna award. A lot more descent again. Inherit Czechoslovakia. Slovakia is now in the Axis. We gain all of that, which is quite nice. We can now invite Hungary into Axis, which we will certainly do. And now independence of Poland has been guaranteed, which must be expected. Okay, we'll actually move you across the river there. And then you are wanting to buy some Stukas, sure. We've got the Moshrash division here. Start preparing the troops a little bit more. And then we've got a lot of production available. I'm actually going to reduce the production just so that we can speed up the upgrade a bit more. Also, well, actually, also going to have to increase this a little bit. We'll go for 25 in the reduction per day. Okay, that should be alright. It slows down some of the production, but we'll be fine with that. Uh, right, so we've got the light tank engine. But so far, so good, and we are unfortunately quite a bit of time for this episode. So, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye bye.